They have played 24 minutes at Chicago Stadium with the Bulls trailing the Sixers by 19. This is the Prudential Halftime Report. I'm Ernie Johnson. Opening night is a time for all 27 NBA teams to look ahead at what is a long and at times grueling campaign. But for one team, this is a night to reflect on what it took to win an NBA title and to enjoy the rewards of a championship. Rewards that they can proudly display. This is the scene at the Palace of Auburn Hills tonight, ring night, rings for the champs, banners proclaiming their dominance in the NBA. Winning back-to-back -back NBA titles is one of the most difficult accomplishments in team sports, and that feat now ranks the Pistons among the greatest NBA teams of all time. These guys have waited 141 days for these rings. Jack McCluskey, the general manager, gets his hardware. And then it is time for the head coach, Chuck Daly. Back-to-back -back world titles. And, of course, the captain, Zeke Isaiah Thomas. Your captain, Isaiah Thomas. Basketball is truly is the greatest game in the world, and we are honored and happy, our teammates, to be playing in front of the greatest fans in the world. We thank you for all of your support. We'd like to thank our families. And of course, it's hammer time. Now, if that doesn't get you pumped up to play a basketball game, there goes the world champion's banner up to the rafters at the Palace of Auburn Hills. I don't know what will. Happy Halloween, by the way, from Bill Lambeer, still wearing that mask. Here's some vintage Detroit hoops. Well, Mark Aguirre inside from Joe Dumars. And now watch him on the defensive end. They muscle the ball away, and then it's Vinny Johnson to Dennis Rodman, who is moving on that bad ankle all right. And he will feed John Sally the trailer, who jams it home. Right now, Milwaukee trying to hang tough with Detroit. The Pistons with a 28-27 lead. They are in the second period.